Rocket Cave. Yep, it's going to be great because something that, you know, you may not experience, but I experience in completing these is a great sense of satisfaction when a series is over. And it's not because I get tired of the game by the end of the series, but at the end you just kind of step back and look at it like, ah, check that out. Look at all that content. Look at that series that was produced. And then I admire things like the capture, or jokes, or quality, or just funny occurrence that happened in a game. Things spontaneous, like in Minecraft, those are some of the best recorded moments. And I'm happy that those are recorded too. But it's so funny too when you add the odd element of talking to yourself. <laughs> Because that's what it is, really. I'm talking to myself, pretending that there's an audience, because it just happens to be that I have an audience, and I built that up over time, yes, but there's nothing guaranteeing here on YouTube that if you post something, you're going to have an audience. It's just not the way it works. If you're an entertaining mofo, you might have an audience, but there's also many other choices out there. Many fish in the sea, I guess you could say. So it's really a matter of preference. And what's awesome about that matter of preference, and if you are entertaining and you decide to do this YouTube thing, uh, you're going to start attracting, hopefully, you know, if you're putting out the right kind of ideas and vibes in your LPs and not being Mr. Negativity, because trolls beget trolls. And by that I mean they attract each other somehow. The troll is never at a deficit for people to argue with. That's uh, it's a plain fact. They could always find someone to troll around with. But if you are positive and you let out on your channel what you're into, and obviously that comes out in your channel by what games you play. I love Pokemon, so mainly I do Pokemon LPs even not great ones like this game but I do it for the sake of the Pokemon community because I wanted to warn you about this game and show you how spammerific it was. I spent ten dollars on this. I'm gonna get my money's worth by showing you guys it's not worth your ten dollars. Yeah. But uh, with, with that I noticed plenty of people just in the comments section who uh, are very uh, open-minded and definitely people that if I met in the real life, I would enjoy speaking with. So when you put that out, when you put your ideas and preferences on the line, it tends to be a net and spider web for others that share those interests. And it's like creating your personal community. It's like a Facebook, and it's like a Twitter. It's another form of social medium, obviously. But it's for people who can't describe themselves in a couple of characters. There's always things going on in my mind, on in my mind, so it's fun for me to have an archive of these things via videos. You know, these videos are so many things to me. They're not just a fun hobby, they're not just a means of communicating with the Pokemon community that previously I had no way of reaching because it was just my location and I'm sure the same story is for many early Pokemon players who just couldn't find anyone in their town who enjoyed their craft. Now there are millions of communities out there for us. For every, every preference out there. Every game. You can get into a crap ton of digital spaces to fill your faces with of all the information that you want to tune into. Yeah. Here we go. We at the boss yet? I believe we are. It's a yellow! It's not Yeto, 
It's Obama Snow. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so this guy is partially grass, so our poison will be super effective. Oh wow, he's badly poisoned. Wow, he could have done some humongous ice move. I'm glad he did. Uh, no, 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 snowballs. I am flying type. You may be grass, but I am still a flying type, and you're partially ice. So you could potentially mess up my deck. Highly unlikely, but potential. It is there. It's interesting who they chose for the boss Pokemon of the Sinnoh region. Okay, maybe we will... No, actually, we'll stick with a fighting type. You'll get the job done. Wow, one cross chop and you're you just like shattered him into a million coins. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely excellent. Woohoo! All right. Well, we may have failed on the first attempt, but we got through, and we made more Poke Pals. Oh, it's impossible to lose at this game, for real. Yeah, you know, this game... Ah, it's... it's... Oh, wow. Pfft. Talk about a brain fart. I just remembered where I was going with that previous tangent of what these LPs are. More than just, uh, things to entertain you with. But, uh, they're, in a way, social experiments, big time. And in many ways. I tell you, I build more social experiments on this YouTube than I have in my whole education career in any science class combined. There's so many interesting things, statistics, and data pieces to look at. Man, this is such a powerful machoke. Beefcake! But there's so many crazy things to observe with this online experience that every day it just it's wonderful to ponder and philosophize and write down ideas that I get just by this experience of uploading a video and what the response is. I know not everybody, most everybody, doesn't look at it that way, but again, it's my unique opinion of being more desired of science. I'm more scientifically oriented, and so if that's your type of style, you're going to enjoy that. If not, then you move on. A very interesting way of filtering what is you. Uh, but this game, you know, it's. I wanted to do. I should have done a review, more or less, on this game and have called it that, called it Square, because, uh, you know, I wanted to do this to show you and prove to you how spammy it was. Of course, as we get into the higher levels, it takes a bit longer to go through, but that's because more Pokemon, more HP, so it's just more spam, but this strategy is not hard. I don't have to really think about the thing I'm doing here. Whoa! Except being paralyzed. Paralyzed is not good. I'm telling you how easy the game is and that I'm about to die via shockwaves. But that's also because my computer went into screensaver while I was recording, so that distracted me. But anyway, yeah, sure, blame it on the screensaver, DOGMZ. You do that. But I wanted to show you exactly how spammy it was, and that it does not get any better, and I do not have to worry about what I have, what I'm pressing here. It's only spamming the two. If I was to film my hands for one episode, it would be adding even more boredom and just mundanity, I guess you could say. I'm sure that's not a word. Mundanity. It is now. To this LP, because you'll see I'm unenthusiastically smashing the 2 button and fondling the D-pad just to go along. And wow, we're really low on HP here. We get ourselves another Machoke. It doesn't have cross shot, but low kick to the face works pretty well. See, it's just another spammy move. If it's not low kick, it's cross chop. It's like low kick within the Pokemon RPG series, it's dependent on the Pokemon's weight. Doesn't seem to matter here, it's just an instant kill. Same thing with cross chop. And oh, cross chop also has a low accuracy. I never seem to miss in this spam fest. 
you know, and some people have messaged me saying I've been too hard on the game and that, hey, Dio Gen Z, it's really not for you, it's a game for kids. But, I don't know, do kids really like this? I think that it could be so boring after a while. I mean, sure, it's, I guess it's kind of instant gratification if you want to look at it in an optimistic view that it's so easy to get through that you can spam through 20 levels in, in a day and you still have lots of game left. I'll give them that. Ten dollars, you get a lot of game for your buck. However, that whole lot of game is one that is so boring and spammy to go through, you don't even want to play the second half. That's why that this whole game, I actually... If you go back to, I believe, the last episode or so, it was in my head, maybe I won't do this, the second part of it because the first, you know, first part, all right, you saw the battle with Mewtwo, it was pretty epic, awesome. That's all you guys need to see, really. Because it's just the same crap from here on out with more HP, more of the same shit, four boss strategies, and just too simple of gameplay. So I thought perhaps you guys wouldn't want to view it. But everybody pretty much, oh wow, we finally got a boss trophy. Pretty much wanted to unanimously see it. Um, actually, no, it wasn't unanimous. Actually, it was a pretty good split, and it was close, but for the most part, for the most part, Techie Luxray. Wow, I wonder what Techie means. We will see in the next level. But I wanted to gauge your opinions, and most people said that they wanted this to continue onwards. And, you know, it could be very well for the reason... Look at this, we got all... We got a Techie Shinx, we got a Rally Magneton, all kinds of special Pokemon. Most powerful boss Pokemon. I wish they kept them in ginormo form so you could fight through these levels. That's humongous Luxray! Okay, moves uh, with fewer stars to become stronger. Alright, cool. That works for me, especially in the bright.